All right, guys, happy Halloween, my favorite holiday. Um, I do have my exit exam coming up soon, but I figured I could quickly do uh, a Halloween game and it'd be okay. So this is called My Big Sister. Uh, it's kind of like the game we played last Halloween, Redbow, or not last Halloween, but Friday the 13th. It's It's got that kind of funkiness to it. So we're just gonna go, I've never played it before. As you can see, this game contains scenes of graphic and disturbing nature as well as inappropriate language. Joy. There's no official controller supporter for the game. Da -da -da. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. This should be interesting. The marketplace. I had that dream again. It's like a broken record, going around and around, but never stops. One day, I hope it does. Yeah, figured that one out. E to open inventory. All right, enter as action. Escape for settings. Okay. Where am I? I can't leave. Why am I here? Anybody? I need to find a way home. Alright, little Chinatown type thing. Excuse me. Can you please tell me where I am? This is the downtown marketplace. Are you lost? I'm not sure. Where are your parents? I'm not sure about that either. Well, maybe you should just wait here. It'll make it easier for them to find you. Okay then. Say, you haven't found a key, have you? I dropped it around here somewhere. No, sorry, I haven't seen the key. Think I'm gonna stay here? No. How do I talk to you? There we go. Hmm. That smells delicious. Hello there, child. Are you lost? I don't know. I fell asleep. Next thing I knew, I woke up here. Well, if you need anything, my darling, come see me. How about some of those tasty noodles? I'm starving. Well, sure. Here. <laughs> Alright, we got noodles. Mmm, yum. Alright, yummy noodles. Alright. He's even wearing a red bow like red bow. It's an air duct. Maybe I can get out through here. It's pretty dark in there. I need to find a light before I go in. Alright. Okay. Apparently we can't go in there. Can I go in here? Of course. Wait. There's something shiny down there. Oh, okay. But I can't fit through that gap. I'll need to find something to reach it. Alright. Hello? Is anyone in there? Guess not. Can't open it. The lock looks broken. Well, then why can't you open it? I mean, there's nothing I can do with the noodles. And we can't open that door. Was that also a door? Animal cages. Smell rotten. 
They must have let them die in here. Ooh. Poor things. What's that in there? A key! But I can't reach it. My hands won't fit through the cage. Alright. Hmm. So use inventory we got- oh we got chopsticks. can use the chopsticks to reach the key. A little closer. Gotcha. I wonder what it unlocks. Alright. I'm gonna guess here. Nope. Is it this door then? It's unlocked! Then enter it. Thank you. Oh, who? Who are you? No, wait, I'm too close. What are you doing here? I, I want to help you, Lucia. Not here. People will see you. Wait, who are you? But I... Just go away. Lucia. Just go! What were you? It's too risky for her to be seen by others. I'm sorry, Sombria. Is that your sister? Why is your sister can't be seen? We'll figure this out soon. Hey, there's something I can use. A coat hanger. Nothing else useful in here. But the story's about her sister. My big sister. So, is she dead? Is that what that means? I can use this to reach the shiny thing. It's a keychain with a torch on it. This could be useful. A keychain with a torch on it? I don't need this coat hanger anymore. I'm sorry, what do you mean? A key... It's a flashlight. Okay. Okay, I should be able to see where I'm going now. I hope this will help us find a way home. Me too. We're all in there, nobody watches us. That's fine. A bad dream? And just like that, our lives would change forever. Oop, are we home? This house even looks similar to Red Bows. Can I get up? No, I don't want to skip. It's the same dream. Every night. Mm. Great. Now I can't sleep. I better see what Zombie's up to. My laptop needs to be charged. Well. Use the door. Thank you. There's nothing in here but my uncle's lucky screwdriver. He's a lucky screwdriver? Why is it in here? <laughs> Does he forget his tools every time he fixes something here? I bet we'll need it. I better not go in her room. Why not? She'd kill me if I went snooping around. Plus, she locks it anyways. Thought we were going to see her. Little loud. Maybe that's better. Alright. Gonna look out the window. It's pretty dark outside. Yeah, I can see that. Couch. I think that's a chair. I'll watch TV a little later. Alright, fine. Ah. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I could smell you here. Oh great, the smoke police. So you gonna tell mom? No, as usual. I can't sleep, zombie. 
Why do you still call me that? Well, what do your friends call you? Soma? Pfft, that's stupid. I'm gonna keep calling you zombie. It sounds like you're calling me zombie. A little bit. Does it look like I'm a zombie? Sometimes, <laughs> when you're getting out of bed or the shower. Shut up, Luzia. You look like a creepy doll sometimes. A little bit. Yeah, but you can still cuddle a doll. I wouldn't cuddle a zombie. Sibling banter. So why can't you sleep? I had that dream again. Which one? The Chinese markets? Or that German singing alligator? <laughs> what? Really? I was trying to forget about the alligator one. It was the Chinese market one. Oh, the one where I'm like a ghost or something? Yes. Doesn't that worry you at all? Why? It's your dream. But you're dead in it. Thought so. Just a dream, Luzia. Well, okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> you overreact too much. You better get back to bed. Mom's gonna be home soon. Besides, it's cold out. I'll be heading inside in a minute. Okay, I'll see you inside. What's the SP thing? What are you? Oh. Okay. Does that make me feel like this isn't going to be a short game? Enter. Thank you. Alright, back to bed, I guess. Hmm. I think I'll go for a glass of milk. That should help me sleep. Alright. Oh. And just where do you think you're going? Hmm? Well, Mom, just to find the kitchen for a glass of milk. Is that okay with you? Typical eight-year-old. Uh, I'm twelve, duh. Whatever, just hurry up and get to bed. Mom's gonna be home soon, and you'll be in trouble then. Don't worry, I'll just tell her I was having a quick smoke before bed. <laughs> just hurry up, Luzia. Okay, okay. Eesh. Eesh. Now how do you get to the kitchen? Excuse me. Um... Oh. Kitchen. Gee, I wonder why <laughs> gets to stay up so late. She doesn't even do anything besides be annoying. Maybe I should tell mom she's smoking. But then, she'd probably tell mom about the roach. The roach. There's nothing wrong with keeping one as a pet, you. They're probably cleaner than her. <laughs> okay, I better go to bed. No, 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 I found out there's a kitchen. I'm checking it out. I would use this mug, but zombies been slobbering all over it. Yuck, it smells like cigarette. Why has mom not noticed yet? Probably has. <sighs> the toaster. I remember when zombie caught her hands in here. What? Twice! In half an hour. She was trying to get her earring. Oh. What an idiot. Alright. Pretty dark outside. Yep, I didn't know that was a window. Is this mom's room? I don't need to go to the bathroom. I bet I'll need to in a minute once I get to the door. Alright. 
Hey, you hear that? Huh? Sounds like mom pulling up in the driveway. You better get to bed now. Oh crap. Hey, watch the language, Lucia. What? Bed now. Alright then. Enter. I get bed. I should be able to sleep now. Okay. This is not working. Why can't I sleep? Oh yeah. The lights are still on. Just as bad as zombies sometimes. And it's dark? Must be a fuse or something. I know I'm gonna uh, get in trouble for this, but what the... Mom! Mom? Maybe Zombie's just trying to scare me again. Zombie! Zombie? Zombria! Great. Guess I'll just go fix the thing myself. I don't say cuss words if we haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, spooky music. Where am I supposed to go to fix the light? Ooh. Huh? Zombie? If this is some sick joke, I'm telling mom. Did you hear me? I bet she wants me to follow that trail. But guess what? I'm not dumb enough to fall for that. I bet she's hiding in the kitchen. Kind of want to follow the trail, though. Huh? She's not in here. Maybe she's hiding in the bathroom. Can I grab a pan to, like, smack somebody with? Zombie! Sombria, open up! I know you're in there. Zombie? Don't tell me I have to go outside. No, I'm not telling you that, but apparently we do. And follow the blood. Ooh, boxhound, huh? What's going on? Wait a second. That's not Mom's car. Zombie's boyfriend, maybe. Doesn't he own a moving truck? She better not be hiding in there. Would just Are you in there, zombie? Uh, Somb? Zombie! L Lucia. You need to- Zombria, what happened? Run, Lucia, run! Oh no. She was still alive? My big sister, that was just the intro? My goodness. Is this all real? But I don't need any help. I'm fine, there's nothing wrong with me. It's all her fault. Who's my sister's? Kind of rude of me, I just saw her all bloody. Oh, we're at the therapist's? So, Luzia, what are we going to talk about today? I don't know. Well, how about we start with these dreams? Have you had any lately? No. Luzia, you're not going to get any better if you don't cooperate. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why am I here? You are here because you are mentally ill, Luzia. I'm mentally ill? No. Why am I really here? Every time I hear all you talk about is my dreams. Every time I'm here, all you talk about is my dreams. Maybe it's not the dreams. Maybe it's me. Your dreams are the key to your illness. Key to your sister's death. Oh, I killed my sister? Sombria is not dead. Look, Lizia, I don't want to go down this path again. You need to accept your sister's death. Okay, I'll accept it then. Really? <laughs> You finally come to accept it? Yep. 
I accept that she's alive. Maybe the medication is causing these hallucinations. I'll have to cut back your dose. I haven't been taking them. I stopped months ago. You haven't been taking them? Yep. So she's alive. See, uh, her body was identified. She's dead. Look, this isn't... This is getting a bit silly. The thing is... What? Well, do you believe in the afterlife? Well, I don't know. You mean like ghosts, right? Well, sort of. Ghosts can't touch anything. They're like a poltergeist. Maybe. Don't, do poltergeist eat? I don't think they do. Why do you say that? Because zombie eats... What does she eat? Noodles. Oh. Oh, and people. People? Yes. Only when she's mad for some reason. Zia, I think you need to start taking your medication. Oh, cause zombie's a zombie. It will help you, I promise. It won't help. I promise. <laughs> okay, Lizia, I want to try something with you. I want you to find something in this room. Something that relates to you and how you feel. It could be anything you wish. Once you have an item, bring it to me. Just be careful with some of the items. I want to keep everything in its place. Okay. But how are you supposed to keep it in its place if I get it? What is this? A brain. I'll take this. I kinda had a feeling that's what I needed to, to get. What's in the toy box? A doll. Maybe it's just me. But dolls are creep me out. No, they creep me out too. Why'd I take it? I guess that's all I can do. I, I have it. Oh wait, do I have to? Markings on inappropriate places. Bushy model of a brain. Uh, I'm gonna go with the brain. So you brought me the brain. That's interesting. Please take a seat. Why pick the brain? I don't know. Maybe because it's pink and squishy. Well, it may symbolize something. To me, it means intellectuality. And you seem like a smart girl, Luzia. Well, Zombie thought I was smart too. <laughs> you can read that. I can see why. <laughs> what puzzles me is that you're an intelligent girl. You still insist your sister is alive. Well, she is, sorta. Look, I don't want to talk about her anymore. But we still have 20 minutes left, Lucia. I said no more, please. Lucia, don't make me angry, please. Remember what happened last time? Yes. Now, let's get back. You know, you can't do that to me anymore. Do what? Hurt me. Lucia, I only do that because I want to make you better. Touch me. Lizia, that's our little secret. Ooh. Huh? No. Don't do that. Do what? What's going on, Lucia? It's not his fault. Don't do this again, please. Keep taking the blame. Oh, it's gonna be the sister. Lizia, please tell me what's going on. It's too late. She made up her mind. I'm so sorry, Mr. Black. What the is going on here, Lizia? Do it. What is that thing? This is Sombria. She's supposed to be dead. Told ya! <laughs> Keep away from me. Wait, zombie. The... Enjoy? Wait, what? Jeez, oh. zombie. You may as well have licked the chair clean. No blood or anything. He was mean to you, Lucy. Lucia. Don't put on the voice, zombie. You're not scary. Lucia, I can't keep this up. I can't live like this. You're fine, zombie. Don't put yourself down. I'm a hideous creature, and I don't know if I'm alive or dead. Well, at least you're out of your room, finally. <laughs> this isn't funny. Why do you always have to make jokes? It's 
better than being depressed. You wouldn't know what being depressed is, Luzia. Hey, I'm sorry, zombie. I want to help. You can't, Luzia. No one can. Well, I'm here if you want any help. That's what sisters are for. Wow, Luzia, I can't believe you just said that. Thanks. It's okay. Let's go home. Huh? Okay. So we carry around in our minds. Oh, I chose the brain. A dead zombie sister ghost. It's interesting. Hey. Am I supposed to take her with me? Am I supposed to get to you? I can't. Just a bunch of sporting magazines. Alright. Anything in this box? No. Oh, do I need to tell her I'm gone? That's strange. There's no one in there. It's just a giant dream again. Huh? The door's locked. What's going on? Oh, that's a shame. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Just like everyone else, I've got some issues I need sorting. What about you, darling? Taking your sister out for lunch? Don't you have noodles to sell or something? Oh, it is the noodle lady. Don't you have a sister that needs your help? There's nothing else I can do for her now. She doesn't want any help. That's what they all say. What do you mean? Do you think she wants to ask for your help? But what do I know? I'm just an old lady. But you said so yourself. She can't be changed back. That doesn't mean she can't be helped. Put yourself in her position. Then tell me how you would feel. That word zombie said before. Depressed. Gosh. I don't know why you're seeing this fool. I should start my own clinic and get out of noodles. Is there a way to get out of here? So I can help Sombria? You're 12. You're better at figuring the stuff out than me. Besides, the key to your problem is better off flushed away. Alright, go to the bathroom. That's easy enough. Ooh. Um. Did the old lady do this? This, this wasn't done by me. Is that a hand? It's holding a key. You have to be kidding me. Ugh. Anything in here? I'll wash my hands later. You sure after getting that key, you might want to wash it now. Oh no. No, no, no. The door's locked. Huh? Um. Zombie! I was just you. Hey, look, zombie. I didn't really mean what I said back there. It's just that I'm trying to make you happy. Zombie? Don't eat me. Wait. Why do you look normal? Why did you do this to me, Luzia? You ruined my life. I wish you were never born. Zombie, I'm really sorry. Go to Luzia. <laughs> I wish you were dead. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have been the one that died. Well, I can't arrange that for you. I can arrange that for you, little sister. Die, you little pest. Don't- ooh, ooh, um. Zombie? I think she's gone. Getting worse. And I keep making it worse. But don't worry, Sombria. I will fix this. I promise. I hope that's the door unlocking. I'm sorry, but we saw her in the back of a truck. How did I kill her? Oh, yeah. Key. Hold on. Great. Now I can get out of here. Feeling sick, my darling? You took your time in there. Must have been something I ate for lunch. Okay, dear. See you next time. Hope I don't see you anymore. There. Taken. Okay. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. We'll get through this. I promise.
Oh, this is when we were in the moving truck. So, where are we going? Why are you alive still? Well... I don't know, Lucia. I don't know. How can you be so calm about this? Easy. This has to be some sort of prank. This is no prank, Lucia. We're being kidnapped. When is that going to sink into your head? Well, what are we going to do about it? I don't know. I already tried the door. There's no way out. Huh? Well, that's not good. I wish I had your attitude right now. Our only option is to wait and see where they take us. Who's they? Gee, you're full of questions right now. I don't know. They were wearing masks. But, huh? I thought I saw an old... Hey, do you hear that? Is it the old woman? Sounds like a parade. Where are we? Sounds like Chinatown. Chinatown? Well, what other parades play Chinese music in them? Funny thing is, we don't have a Chinatown. We must be in Little Tokyo. Aren't they two different countries? It's the music that throws me off. Look, we need to make a plan for when that door opens. When I kick the guy who opened the door, we run for it, okay? That's a stupid plan, and it'll never work. Oh, and why not? Because usually when that happens in movies, the victims fall asleep by the time they arrive. In movies? Yeah. Don't you watch movies? This isn't a movie, Lucia. It will work, trust me. You say so, sis. Okay, let's get ready. Hopefully we'll be stopping soon. Don't fall asleep. Uh huh. No, oh, we're in a spa with a naked lady. Well, it's about time. Hopefully you girls had a smooth ride. I apologize about the mode of transportation. You're both probably wanting an explanation for all of this. Actually, I want to know why you're naked. Same. Well, aren't you the mischievous one? Welcome to my bathhouse. We're fine, thanks. <laughs> but zombie, I want to go swimming. Shut up, Luzia. Now is not the time. Oh, but where are my manners? I am Ashina. But everybody calls me the Red Witch. A witch? Like the hat, warts, cats, and stuff? <laughs> I like this little one. Your name's Luzia, right? I've heard a lot about you. What do you want with us? Why did you bring us here? Oh, so you want to skip introductions. Fine. And actually, Sombria, I only wanted you. Your sister was a bonus that idiot brought along. What? Why? The thing is, you have something that I want. When I was your age, the only thing I ever wanted was a pair of legs. What? A pair of long, beautiful, luscious legs. I hated being short with average legs. I don't like being short either. There was only there was no way to fix my problem. Well, not in this world. The only way to get what I wanted was to make a sacrifice. So I took the life of my older sister. Ooh. She had all the perfections a girl would ever want. Especially those long, silky, luscious legs. <laughs> but it came at a cost. I was cursed for the rest of eternity. But I got what I wanted. Oh my gosh. As you can see, this is my curse. No way. W what do you want with me? Sombria, can't you see the similarities between us? We carry the same complexion, the same look. We are almost identical. 
If I can't have my old body back, I want yours. What? No, please. In return, you will keep my body, and you can have anything you wish. She ain't getting your stilts, lady. <laughs> and you better let us... Did you say anything she wishes? <laughs> Lucia! But zombie, you can ask for a pony. Oh my gosh. Well, a really tall one. <laughs> Sombria, I love your little sister. She's such the jokester. Lizia, stop it. Okay then, forget it, lady. She's still naked. Sweetie, it's just an offer. And you're more than welcome to say no, Sombria. Then why kidnap us? I never asked for either of you to be kidnapped. I'll make sure to punish that driver for what he did to you. And please, Sombria, think about my offer. I don't want to think about it. I just want us to go home. Well, then that's fine. I'll arrange for someone to take you both home. While you wait, feel free to enjoy the facilities and refreshments. You got a buffet? All you can eat? Okay, I'm sold. Come on, zombie. Let's go chow down. You girls won't be going anywhere. Yeah, I kind of figured that. And what do you want, old woman? Is it the same old woman? Surely a mother can visit her daughter. What? You are no mother of mine. Remember, it was you that gave me this curse. Ooh. And it was you that took my daughter for greed. Why are you here? Just a friendly word of caution. Oh, and what's that? Beware of the young one. She's a lot smarter than you would expect. Lucia? <laughs> the little girl is too innocent to cause trouble. That is her specialty, my daughter. Just a friendly word of caution. I don't need your words of wisdom, you old hag. Once I have her body, I won't have your wretched curse upon me. I will finally be free. Oh, I'm sorry, my daughter. But you will never be free. Ouch. Okay, where is everybody? You said there's an all-you-can-eat buffet here. Yeah, not now, please. And I'm not hungry, either. I'm always hungry. I know you are. You can't just stand here with an empty stomach. I'm gonna go snoop around. No, Lizia, you stay right here. Sorry, Mom. I can't do that. Look, I won't go too far, okay? You're not going to listen to me, anyway. I'll bring you back a donut or something. But, I don't want to leave my sister. That lady was freaky. Stop it, Lucia. If she was a spider, she'd be called a mommy long legs. <laughs> Shut up, Lucia. I'm not in the mood for this right now. I'm, I'm sorry, zombie. And stop calling me that. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you upset. No, it's okay. I'm sorry too, Lucia. I just want to go home. I, I'm, I'm gonna keep on with this. I don't... Oh, okay. I have to leave my sister. I don't want to... Maybe I can find a way out. Oh, can I not? Yes, okay. I see a crack over here. There's a small hole in the wall. I wonder what's in here. Hey, what's this? What did I find? Red tile? Alright. I found a food. It's a dead fish. Poor little guy. Should be in the frying pan with your buddies. <laughs> Maybe I can find one for you. Oh, I took the fish.
water goes on, water goes off. Yep, that's a sink, all right. What the heck? Just a sink. Great. <laughs> I got an achievement for playing with a sink. Oh. <gasps> oh! Hey, no children allowed in here. I knew it. There are people working here. And I'm starving. Didn't you just hear me say no children allowed in here? I did, but I'm a delinquent. And who are you? This is why I hate kids. My name is Nikuya, but the witch calls me the butcher. I thought you were the chef. There's no cooked food here, young one. Everything here is raw. Oh, like sushi. No, not like sushi. Do you know what witches eat? I think my mom read a, me a book on that. Gingerbread houses. Kid, look, this isn't the place for you for children to be. And you seem like a good kid, but just be careful around here. Okay. Is there anything to eat around here? <laughs> look, I'll try to find a candy bar or something for you. Just don't touch anything. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna touch everything. Hey, some noodles. I knew there was something to eat around here. Although, I don't think roaches were in the recipe. <laughs> but chopsticks seem useful. Alright, we got chopsticks again. Hey! A freezer! The door's locked. I'd hate to get locked in there. Yeah... But... It's locked. Darn. Alright, sister's still out here. Yeah. Save point. There we go. Locked. 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 Locked, but there's something shiny in there. Could unlock it if I had a key or a lockpick. Could I use the chopsticks for that? Okay. Well, what am I doing with the dead fish? Is what I want to know. Shower. I don't need to shower. I don't smell that bad. You're carrying around a dead fish. I highly doubt this. It's a sauna. There's an emergency temperature gauge here on the door. Ooh. We can burn somebody. Oh, my sister's still okay. Oh, it's the lady's bath. Oh, I can't get in it. Final door. It's usually never a good thing. Oh, it's the... the front desk. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I don't think anyone would mind me looking. Hey, what's this? A keychain flashlight. This should come in handy. Alright. I figure out what we gotta use this fish on. Can I just throw it at the witch? Is that someone hanging? <laughs> okay. Is my sister still here? Good. I wish my dog would stop barking. Maybe I can give you the fish? Hey, Mr. Butcher. Can you tell me a little more about this item? Huh? It's a dead fish. Uh, I already know that. But it looks like a traditional Japanese koi fish. Only this one is dead. Found it dead on the counter in the restaurant. Oh, that was my lunch. Gross. So I can ask him about different things. I'm still slightly concerned about the uh dead woman hanging. 
Can I talk to you anymore? By the way, where's your face? I don't have one. Why not? Everyone should have a face. Yet, I'm not everyone. I'm not even human. Then what are you? You ask too many questions. No, I don't. Well, how about one more question? Do you have a big sharp knife I can have? A little girl with a big knife. Now that's scary, even for me. And no. We can't have everything we want. Even me. What do you want? A face? Actually, yes. But that's a long shot. Ooh, I can get you a face. Give me the knife, it's right there. I can't use this here. Shucker. Maybe I can ask my sister something else. I don't know. Hey zombie, what was he? Can I have one of your bobby pins? What for? My fringe is loose. You don't have a fringe, Luzia. My back fringe, duh. Whatever here, just take it and leave me alone for a while. Oh. I could talk to my sister again. Alright. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I know where we need to go. Was it the first door? Yes. Okay. Okay, this should work. There, I got it. Whoops, bobby pin broke. Sorry, zombie. What is this? A mask? It looks creepy. Can we give it to the man? Give him a face? And he'll give me a knife. What do I do with the dead fish? Mm. Hey, Mr. Butcher. I have a surprise for you. Huh? I found you a face. But how? You didn't cut someone's face. Ta-da! Oh, it's a mask. So, what do you think? It doesn't actually look that bad. Thanks, kid. So can I have that knife now? Well, okay. Make sure you be responsible with it. You don't want to be disemboweling humans with it or anything. Jeez. What do you think of this child? I still don't understand the tile. Can't use this here. Shocker. Where's the dark space? Maybe I can go back through this little spot over here? There's a small hole in the wall. I wonder what's in here. Hmm, nothing. Bummer. Alright, that's a no. Save just in case. Oh. There are tiles missing where I should be. Oh. Give it one. Okay. Can I find four more? Or three more? We already had one. Interesting. Any tiles out here? Can I go out the door? Great. We're locked in. Maybe there's another way out. Oh, 
wonder if I could just use the knife. Nope. Okay. Can't cut open any more of them. Darn. Yeah, there's an emergency temperature gauge, but can I throw my fish in there? No. Alright. What do we want the knife for? I mean, besides to kill the witch. I could see that being it. That lady was freaky. Okay, it's just gonna go through this again. Can I throw the fish back in the water? No. Can I put it back on the cutting board and cut it up? No. I can't do anything with this fish. There has to be something we can do. Oh my goodness, my dog won't stop barking. Can't use this here. Is there anything else you can tell me? By the way, where's your face? Oh, we already did this. He has one now. Why is it even asking about this? Yes, he wanted a face. He has a face. <laughs> anything around these tables? <laughs> we have a knife. Oh, we can't do anything in here. A knife, a dead fish. Chopsticks. Hey, what's this? A flower? It smells lovely. Found a flower? A red spider lily. It's a beautiful looking flower, but it has a terrible meaning. Isn't that the same flower from like... Promised Neverland? Who wants a flower? These are definitely hanging people. They all just locked, I can't get into them. Maybe we could give the flower to our sister. Can't use this here? Why not? Can I give her the dead fish? No. The flashlight. This one's throwing me through a loop. Like, why? There's nothing. Can we put the dead fish in the pool? Darn. Well, we haven't met anybody else. So what are we supposed to do? Can't shimmy anything open. 
Wait a second. Can I use a knife and cut and make that hole bigger? Can't use this here. What about... Nope. Hmm. Pretty sure we already tried the knife on here. Then what do you expect from me? Darn. Hey Mr. Butcher, can you tell me a little more about this item? Alright. Hey, be careful with that. Why? Do you know what that is? A flower? That is no ordinary flower. That is a spider lily. Cool name, but why is it so dangerous? That flower brings death. And I've died far too many times to my liking. Whoa, is death painful? Is death painful? <clears throat> I mean... She's just asking the question. Hey, Mr. Butcher, can you tell me a little more about this item? Well, what do you know? A pair of chopsticks. Very useful things. And in more than one way. Like what? Well, like leaving me alone. Gee, aren't you fun to have around? <sighs> I am kind of making him angry. <laughs> but I can't... I can't do anything else besides bug you. Can I give her the flower now? Darn. Just gonna say the same thing? Yep. Well... Darn. Can't try to bring it back to life. You're no fun. I don't understand. Just let me in. No, I didn't think this game would be this hard. Can I just cut you? No. Can I bring death to the lady? By throwing a flower in here? No. Could I just keep bugging him until he throws me in the freezer? supposed to do. I get that it's locked. Eh. 
and it's the freezer so it's cold and the temperature gauge is in the sauna but there's nothing I can do for that there's nothing strange. This picture looks different than the others. Huh? This wall is made of paper. Sorry, wall, but this is for your own good. Ugh, have mercy. Da-da-da! Ah, that actually looks pretty creepy in there. Okay. We get a flashlight. Why can't I? Oh. Well, I can. You have ar long arms and the lady has long legs. Gross. And really creepy. N did you say something, my dear? Ooh. No way. That thing is alive? Did you call me, my dear? Uh, nothing. What did you call me, my dear? Thing is not my name. I am the lady on the wall. In whom do I have the pleasure of meeting? What? Your name, my dear. Oh, it's Lizia. What a strange name for a young girl. My mom said it's a bright name. It is such a bright name. Tell me, Lizia, why are you here? Me and my older sister were kidnapped by some witch. Your older sister? And what's her name, dear? It's Sombria. Haha. <laughs> I get it. How ironic, light and dark. And tell me, my dear, did the witch make you an offer? Not me, no, but she did to Sombria. Hmm, sounds like your sister's in deep trouble. I don't think so. We're just waiting for our ride home. <laughs> Lizia, she will not let you leave until she gets what she wants. But I may be able to help you. Okay, how? I'll make you a deal. You bring me something I want. I'll tell you how to get out of here. Okay, sounds fair. But bring me something I don't want, and I get to eat you. Sounds good, sure. Why no? My dear, I don't think you have a choice. Now go, bring me something of death. Okay, but do you want the fish or the flower? I'm gonna give you the flower, since you said you're a lady. You like flowers? Right. Oh, would you look at that? What a pretty flower. Congratulations, Lucia. You brought me what I wanted. And now, I'll help you. To escape this place, you'll need to find the witch's secret passage. You can find the passage in the back of the bathroom. Take this tile. It is one of the keys to your escape. Now go. I'm getting hungry. Mm -hmm. Don't eat me. I'm not tasty. You know, I don't have my sister with me. Oh, right. Tile. Tile. I don't have the knife anymore? Yeah, what? Ooh. No, don't go- Get your sister! Si no. Sister. No. I've got a dead fish. I'll hit you with it. Yes. No, oh, she's not naked. Oh, there's my sister. Lucia, glad you could join us. Wait, stop. You let her go. Lucia, just run. Get out of here. Listen to your sister, Lucia. You just might make it out alive. I'm not leaving without my sister. Lucia, I love your bravery. But seriously, what are you going to do? Something you wouldn't like? Maybe something like this? Oh, ooh. Oh, what'd you do to her? Sombria! Oops, sorry, Lucia. But she's mine now. 
What did you do to Sombria? She's transforming. I take her body for my own and she'll remain here. With the others. Change her back. Sorry, Luzia. The changes are permanent. She is no longer your sister. That's where you're wrong. Luzia, hurry. We can escape through here. Did you eat her body and leave her head? Laundry. Escape? What is happening to me? What have I become? Is that it? Oh, okay. I've got a fish. Oop. Zombie. What has she done to you? You look diff- I know, Luzia. I- I know. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Just don't say anything right now, Luzia. Just leave me alone for a while. But you always want to be alone. Well, I can't be alone when you're around. Ouch. Why is this happening to me? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, you could have been nicer to your sister. Why can't I get... What is it? I want this thing. There's some sort of metal cable floating in the water. I could have fished it out if I had a fishing pole. I mean... Oh, I got nothing. I thought I had a fish. Hey, there's something shiny in there. But I ain't sticking my hand in there. I need to find a way to reach it. So picky. I can see something glimmer in there. But I ain't sticking my hand in there. I need something long to reach it. He's so picky. I could use this wood to make a bridge. It looks old though. I just hope it doesn't break. Alright, we got a bridge. For the door, I assume. Oh, that's not the right button. There's a door on the other side, but I don't think I can jump the gap. Maybe I can make a bridge. Well, that's why I clicked E. Thank you. I hope this holds. I don't want to get wet again. Why not? Save point. Hmm, there must be a key in here somewhere. I will fix this zombie. I promise. Hey, now we're talking. Cool magnet. Alright. What does this thing do? Water level meter? Seems to be no power. Alright. Get a magnet. Can we use the magnet here? Okay, can we use the magnet here? Hopefully that shiny thing is metal. Well, it worked. It's a metal pipe. Maybe I can find a use for it. I guess we use it here. This will save me using my hand. What's this? Fishing line. What kind of fish would I catch down here? Listen. Well, how do I combine them? Wait, no, I... Hmm? Can I talk to you? This must be the way out of here. It's locked. Not to find the key. Hmm. Can't use this here. Can't use this here. Well, how am I supposed to combine them? I'm gonna put the pipe with the fishing rod and or the fishing line to make a fishing rod. Can I use this? No. What? Oh, you just have to make it. Okay. That's creative. Why does our fishing pole have a magnet? What do we find? Ah, the power cable. Okay, let's power this baby up. 
What's that sound? The water is gone. There you are, Mr. Gate Key. Let's get out of here. Nice, but can I go this way? No. Zombie, I found the key to the gate. We can get out of here. Zombie. Just go, Zia. Leave me here. How did I know you were going to say that? Huh? Look, zombie, I don't know what the witch lady did to you. But we can't just give up. There must be a way to change you back. I, I don't know, Luzia. You won't know unless you try, zombie. Well, okay, but the witch is dead. How are we going to change me back? Find her mom! I don't know. But we won't know unless we try to find a way, zombie. Yeah, you're like a broken record. Okay, thanks, Luzia. I don't say that as much as I should. It's okay, zombie. Let's get going. Okay, let's find someone that can help you. Luzia. I don't think it would be good for anyone to see me like this. Pfft, you look fine, zombie. I don't know, Luzia. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll find someone that can help you. Excuse me. Is there someone here who can help my sister? I'm sorry, but I'm really busy with this mess. Well, are your parents home? Maybe I can ask them. Parents? What are they? You gotta be kidding me. You don't know what parents are? No, sorry. You may have more luck asking someone else. Excuse me. Hmm. Neat. Is that the the noodle lady? I'll talk to you for a second. Hmm, smells delicious. How much for a bowl of noodles? About three dollars a bowl. Would you like some? I wish I had the money. I sure am hungry. Sorry, little lady. No dough, no noodles. Who are you calling Lil? You look like you're eight years old. So they're all young here? Oh, where'd I go? Oh, okay. Three apples. Huh? A sign. You may only take one per day to keep the witch away. Great. One it is, then. But I'm still hungry. An apple a day keeps the witch away? Alright. Who's that blood? Excuse me. Is there someone here who can help my sister? What's wrong with your sister? I think she's sick. Oh gosh, that's no good. What kind of sickness does she have? I don't know. Something that makes you white with really long arms. Sounds more like a curse to me. A curse? Yeah. You didn't meet a witch here by any chance. Maybe. Hmm. Look, I can't help you, but I know someone who can. You need to find the noodle lady. Noodle lady? Yeah, she's like an expert on curses and stuff. Where do I find her? Usually at the laundromat washing her underwear. There's a laundromat here? I so need to wash my undies too. No offense, but you still smell like you need to wash in general. It's probably because you're hanging out with trash. Not like I went swimming in a sewer or anything. Do you like hanging out here? I live here. Okay, I'll just be going then. Make sure you find the noodle lady. You can help your sister. That blood. I mean, she looks like a noodle lady. Excuse me. Could you help me and my sister out? Actually, maybe you could help me out. I'm starving, but this bozo won't sell me any fried fish. If you eat any more, you'll put me out of business. You c how can a little boy eat so much fish? 
Easy. Give me one and I'll show you. Nice try. How about you eat some fruit for once? You know, I could eat an apple right about now. Find me an apple and I'll help you and your friend out. Fine. But if you don't help us, I'll make you choke on that apple. <laughs> Alright. Talk of the town! I guess it must be because I've talked to literally everyone. Well, my apple? Here. My spit shined it for you. Oh, awesome, thanks. Now your help, please. Here, take this. You can unlock the gate to the laundromat with it. Two. Do, 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 do. I don't need this key anymore. It's a laundromat. Use some clean clothes right about now. Well, you're looking for the noodle lady. Ah, there she is. I've been expecting you, Lucia. I've been expecting you, old woman. You don't even know who I am, do you? No, no I don't. But you may remember me. Wait a minute. You're the noodle lady from my dream. Oh my. You're all wet and smelly. Why don't you call your sister and I'll pay for your clothes to be cleaned. Thank you. That's really not- Wait, how do you know that I have a sister? I know a lot about you and your sister, Luzia, and I'm here to help you, but I never asked for your help. I think you were just about to. You're not another witch, are you? Come on, young one. Let's get you out of those wet clothes. But what will I wear? I can't just stand here naked. Don't worry about that. There's only one other person who uses this laundromat, and she only comes on Tuesdays. I'm gonna be naked. I'm naked. So tell me, girls, what do you think about the weather we're having? What? Mm. Wonderful, isn't it? Actually, it's a bit cold. Ah, oh, is it Tuesday? Mm. Oh, must be Tuesday. Alright. You're saying you both were kidnapped? Yes, and they beat up Zombie too. She has gone too far this time. Huh? Who has? Well, it's about time I introduced myself. Yes, it is. I am Yokona Kya- But everyone just calls me Noodle Lady. That's what we're going with. <laughs> Why? Don't you sell noodles, do you? You don't sell noodles, do you? I own the noodle joint and a few doors over. Oh. I see you both have met my daughter, Ashina. The witch is your daughter? That means you can help Zombie. Right? I'm afraid I can't do that, Lucia. So you mean I'm stuck like this forever? My dear, I'm afraid that you're also not alive anymore. I'm dead? How? She's standing right there. Umbria, place your hand over your heart. Do you feel a beat? I don't. What happened to me? By the looks of things, you're now a yokai, Sombria. What's a yokai? A ghost. Well, more like a poltergeist. My daughter must have wanted something from you, Sombria. She wanted to swap bodies. Strange thing is... Why do you still have the same body? Oop. Call this the same body? I look like a hideous creature. No, just a pale woman with really long arms. I've been telling her that the whole time. You look fine, zombie. Where is Ashina now? <laughs> I think she's dead. Her head was floating in the bath. Did you see what killed her? Actually, no. The lights went out. Then this is good news. Good news? 
we may be able to reverse the curse. Uh, how? Zia, didn't you say her head was floating in the bath? You need to retrieve it for Sombria. Ooh. Um, how about no? I never want to set foot back in that place again. Don't you want to help your sister? I do, I just... I'll go. Wait, zombie. You've done enough, Luzia. Now it's my turn. Oop. I love it when sisters get along. Don't you? Did your daughter have a sister? Oh yeah, she killed her. Yeah, will be. Well, what are you waiting for? Huh? Go after her. Why? She obviously doesn't want my help. They never do. So why wait for an invitation? You're right. I've probably made her mad <laughs> way too much today. Here, take this. What are you giving me? It's the key to the bathhouse. Alright. Thanks, noodle lady. Good luck, little one. How I end up in an insane place? Well, where are we? Can I not go back through there? Alright, where's the bathhouse then? Oh, I see. Oh, I see my sister ghost. Lizia. Why are you here? I said I'll do this on my own. Well, I figured you might not need the key to get in. Well? We ain't gonna find the witch's head standing here. Hey. Thanks, little sis. I still fail to see how this is all my fault. Of blood and water. Why didn't this happen to her? She deserves this more than I do. What? Ooh. Is that creature that wants to eat children still here? Oh my gosh. What the happened here? We were literally gone for a day and now this? Who did this? I, I don't know. I bet you do. But I have a feeling we're going to find out. But where's the head? I think it's in the secret bathroom. I'll go first and find out what's going on. Okay, I'll meet you there. Be careful. How does she float like that? So cool. <laughs> Children. Why's there a smiley face? Uh huh. You did escape. It's still pretty dark in here. Where's that flashlight I had earlier? Oh, here, in my pocket. Uh -huh, I knew it. You're gone. Did you eat the head? I need the head. Ooh, ooh. I saw you. Don't eat me. Still got the temperature gauge, still got blood everywhere now. Let's just... does that say something? There's something written here. What's it say? I've been trapped here for far too long, chained to the walls like some kind of animal. You will pay for what you did to me, and so will everyone else. Ooh. Huh. Where's Cook? Oh! Oh. Hello, Mr. Butcher. Hey, that's the witch's head. But it's on your head? 
Give it to me. There's a knife in your neck. That looks pretty painful. Hold still and I'll pull it out for you. Ooh. <laughs> what was that? Hold on, I'll pull the knife out. Then I'll get you down. Ugh, gross. Ooh, he's in pain. There we go! Did I just kill him? Hmm. What have I done? I've killed him! <laughs> what? He's alive? Yeah, finally. I've been trying to get her lips open so I can speak. And now that I can... Why the- did you do that for? I can't believe you're still alive. As I said before, I am already dead. Now I'm just a head. Look, I'm sorry, but I need to know what's going on here. She did this. Lady, as you would have guessed by now. She's broken free. But how? Look, there's no time to waste talking. She is after someone named Sombria. That's my sister. Look, kid, get out while you can. There's no way for you to survive if you stay here. Not without my sister and that head you're wearing. Look, kid, only the witch knows how to stop her. I'm going to find Sombria. Just hang here and try not to lose your head. Is that supposed to be funny? Yes. Can't I cut you down, though? Ugh, fine. I don't know why I didn't talk to my sister first. I know she's in here, but I followed the blood. Oh, sister. I found the head. Oh, no. Well, I can't look in here. We need that eyepiece. I've got a knife. What can I do with the knife? Oh, there's my sister! What are you doing here? Zombie, where have you been? I was looking everywhere for you. Lucia, there's no time. I need you to stand in the other circle now. Why? What's going on? You need to do exactly what I tell you. Go on now. Okay, okay. I don't like this idea. Okay, now what? Okay, I need you to draw blood. What? And spill it inside the circle. Are you insane? To track the lady, we need a mix of pure blood and phantom blood. Why do we want to attract her for? She's going to eat us. Lucia, you need to trust me. Use something to cut yourself. Kids, do not try this at home. Uh, where's the knife? Oh crap, this is gonna hurt. Ah! And now what? Now we wait. I know you're here, you- <laughs> Oh, hiding in the sauna, are we? Surprised you can fit in there with those long legs. Oh, is this her sister? What is this? Trying to trap me in here, are you? That won't stop me ripping the legs off you. Because y'all look identical. So now we'll- don't say it again. Let's just get the head and get out of here. I don't know how long this trap will hold. Just lock the door. You can't from the outside. Who's that? I can hear talking out there. Pipe down in there, Rummy. Little girl? Lucia? You two met? Whoops! Lucia, go get the head now. We'll meet up at the noodle lady's house. Alright, fine. I mean, she might be nice to me. She knows who I am. Go get the head. Oh good. It's still here. About time you showed up. Can you let me down now so I can atta attach myself? Sorry, I took so long. Hey, look kid. I'm sorry about before. You're so sweet for a man with no face. Oh. 
I got you something. But I can't give it to you because, well, this. See. It's on the bench. The bench. Oh. This. Oh, cool. A candy bar. <gasps> he got me candy. Oh. You girls are back? You look surprised to see us. Oh, with the lady running around, I was sure you'd be done for. Are you spying on us? Word travels fast around the slums, hun. Come on, don't... <laughs> Lizzie, uh, watch your language. <laughs> hey, you're not in charge of me anymore. Monsters can't be babysitters. Ouch. Shut up, Lizzie. You're the monster here. Oh, oh, how I've missed this. What do you mean, miss this? I have to live with this little brat every day. And now I'm some sort of dead freak because of her? I still remember when my daughters used to get along so well, and now all they ever do is fight. For centuries they fight just like you two. Wait, centuries? How old are you? How old do you think I am, Luzia? At least a hundred. Huh? Must be the hair. At least eighty? Ha! <laughs> I'm as old as you want me to be, Lucia. How can the wi- uh, I mean your daughter look as old as me? Well, look around you. Haven't you noticed anything? Yeah, this town is full of kids. But no parents. Take care of the children here. And provide them food and clean clothes. But there are those who don't want my help. And those unfortunate ones fall onto Ashina's plate. She eats kids? But I'm a kid. That's how she keeps her young complexion. Uh, can we get back to this problem now, please? Yes, of course. Now that we have my daughter's head, I can use her blood to make a cure for your curse. But once I do, you need to do exactly what I say. Why? Once you drink this, you'll only have a small amount of time. A small amount of time for what? Break the loop. Just get to the point, lady. This is a complicated curse, Lucia. You will only have three days. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in the curse's loop forever. Me? What you mean, zombie? Yes. But when the time comes, it will be you who breaks or strengthens the loop. Just tell me what I have to do. Once you drink this, all you have to do is go home. Wait, what? That's it? No magic spells or voodoo rituals? sounds too easy. It does sound simple, doesn't it? But this is how the curse works. Once the both of you have returned home, the curse will be broken. But how do we? We came in the back of a truck. I have no idea where we are. I know someone who can take you as far as the countryside. From there you'll have to find your way back. However, it does have a very convenient bus route. I get some rest. You'll both leave in the morning. Besides, it's too dangerous outside, since you didn't lock the bathhouse door. Whoops. Whoops, indeed. I guess we could have- A long ride home. Oof, look at her long arms. <laughs> you know? This is kind of fun. I wish we could do this all the time. Is she the monster from Redbow? She is. At the end of the road. There's connection. So, explain to me again. Why do you want to ride with the door open? And because of the view. Look at the view. Never ending. Lines of fences. It's breathtaking. It's nauseating. And the smell of cows isn't helping. Well, they smell better than you right now. I don't notice anything. It's a proven fact you can't smell yourself. No, it isn't. Then how come you can't smell your own farts? You're an idiot. It's true. Everybody else can smell mine except me. That's because you leave the room right after you do one. It's probably fart magic or something. But then this is Redbow. Speaking of magic, did you take that magic potion yet? A uh, magic potion, Luzia, and yes, I did. I would have taken it when I got home. The noodle lady said the ingredients would go off by then. She didn't tell me that. She told me this morning. And something about breaking the loop. 
What's with this loop? I have no idea. There was one more thing she said before we left. What's that? That I should... Hmm? Ugh, enjoy my time with you. Hey, what's not to enjoy? I'm fun. Mm-hmm. And I'm a non-smoker. Oh, goody. Well, at least we're not fighting right now. Huh? You know what? You're right. She was right. This is kinda enjoyable. Hmm. Just smell that cow fart infested air. <laughs> and now the moment's gone. You're a weird little girl, Lizia. You're a red bow. <laughs> the bus stop. Kinda creepy out here. But strangely familiar. Oh, this is familiar. This legit is Redbow. Well, so much for the truck ride. Be thankful it got us this far. Where are we anyway? At a bus stop? Oh, congratulations, Luzia. You want a cookie. Oh, awesome. I'm starving. Because all I ate was a dead fish earlier. You ate the dead fish. I stole that dead fish from the buffet. And you ate it? Yes. I can't believe you're even related. We're even related. I was being sarcastic, Luzia. Darn. <laughs> this bus sure is slow. Zombie? What? I'm bored. Oh no, you're not wandering off again. Please. Last time you wandered off, I turned into this. Do you really think I'm going to let that happen again? Yes. Look, you stay here. I'm going to see what I can find. I'm so hungry. Me too. Just wait here. Call out if you see the bus. But I don't wanna... Huh? So this is what it feels like. Zombie, are you eating the daughter? Hey, a sign. Ancient spirit lives in this forest. An offering of tasty noodles is required to summon it. I need noodles? Give me the mushroom. To the left. There's nothing- another mushroom. Hey, a mushroom! I could eat it! I was that desperate. Oh, well, why aren't you? Eat the mushroom. There's so many of them. Down. Thank you. Uh, zombie? Ooh. Oh! Thank god it's you. I thought you were some kind of monster for a second. So hungry. I'm so hungry it hurts. Zombie? Song? Zia, I'm so hungry. Please help me. Okay. Just wait right here. I'll find you something to eat. So hungry, please help me. I'm not talking to Lizia, by the way. I can't just leave her here like this. I need to help Zombie first. I'm sorry, I thought I was helping Zombie. Get that mushroom. It's better than nothing. I got two of them. Can I go back and get the others? I can, can't I? Excuse me? I said I was hungry. Yes, I am talking about you behind the screen. Me? Ooh! Excuse me? Zombie, can I help you? Can you get off my screen? Okay, um... I'm gonna go save real fast before zombie comes after me. 
because I feel like she's going to try to eat me. Safe point. Why she get Mickey ears? Hmm. Please, I need your help. Hey, listen. Um, I'm trying. Ooh. Ah, I knew there'd be another one. I hope this helps her. Please tell me that's all of them. She's staring into my soul. I'm gonna eat your sister. I'm sorry. Here, zombie, have mushrooms. Please, bring me more. Bring you more? It's all the ones I could find. There weren't any more. No? Um. What do you mean, no? Um. Not right now. Am I missing one? There's no other- <gasps> I'm so hungry. What happened? Well... What? Okay. Um... So, my mind is trying to wrap around Redbow that I played a while back, who had this long, strange creature living outside the forest of a house that had daughters missing, and the mother was ready to, to end it all because her, her daughters were gone. And I'm thinking if I go back into the game and uh, feed Zombie myself, which I don't know how I'd do that, I may end up being the next part that goes to Red Bow, because then it would have Zombie out there by the woods, the mother in the house desperate for her daughters, and uh, I don't know, because I don't know what games should have came first. I just found Red Bow at random, and then I found this one. But that was a pretty sinister game. I don't know why all games of children have to have children with no fear whatsoever, but it was kind of cool. Don't know what happened with Zombie. We may come back into this game and Redbow at a later time because I only got the first ending out of Redbow. I know there's multiple endings, and it looks like there's multiple endings here. But that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be back in about a week because it's gonna take me a week, or I have a week at least, to finish my exit exam. And then I will continue on. I hope everyone has a great Halloween, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!